everyone, welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan. Let's look at today's top headline. Keeping the seasonal influenza virus situation in mind, the Union Health Ministry is closely monitoring the situation in various states and union territories through the Integrated Disease Surveillance Program Network on a real-time basis. Young children and old age persons with comorbidities are the most vulnerable groups in context of seasonal influenza. So far, six dead in India cases reported in Karnataka, Haryana and Punjab. To talk a little bit detail about the influenza virus, the seasonal influenza is an acute respiratory infection caused by the influenza virus which is known to circulate through seasonal variations. Transmission of this disease is airborne and can spread from one person to another rapidly through droplets containing viruses that are dispersed into the air and can spread up to one meter. These droplets can infect the person in close proximity by inhalation of droplets. The time period from infection to the illness known as the incubation period is around two days and can range from one to four days. The characteristic indicators of influenza are a sudden and rapid onset of symptoms which include fever, chills, body aches, sore throat, dry cough, runny nose and even headaches. Gastrointestinal and muscle inflammation are more commonly seen in young children and infants can present with a sepsis-like syndrome. The current protocol for treatment advised by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare involves the early implementation of infection control precautions to minimize the nosocomial spread of the disease, categorization of patients and precautions like washing hands, wearing masks in public places, taking paracetamol for fever. The ministry also advised the state governments for vaccination of healthcare workers dealing with H1N1 cases. If we talk about the drugs and its logistics, Oseltamivir is the recommended drug for treatment and the dosage for treatment is determined by the weight of the patient. For weights less than 15 kgs, 30 mg twice a day for 5 days, 15 to 23 kgs, 45 mg twice a day for 5 days, 24 to less than 40 kg, 60 mg twice a day for 5 days and greater than 40 kg, 75 mg twice a day for 5 days. For infants less than 3 months, 12 mg twice a day for 5 days, 3 to 5 months will be 20 mg twice a day for 5 days and 6 to 11 months is 25 mg twice a day for 5 days. The medication is also available as a syrup formulation. The dose and duration can be modified as per the individual clinical condition. Supportive therapy includes the administration of IV fluids, parenteral nutrition, oxygen therapy or ventilatory support, antibiotics for secondary infection, vasopressors for shock, and paracetamol or ibuprofen for fever. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.